In 2021, the CDC estimated about 28 million Americans smoke cigarettes. That's about one in 10 who are increasing their risk of serious illness by smoking. Uh, today's guest wants to help drop those numbers. We have Patrice Conrad, the Senior Provider Program Specialist from Priority Health, uh, here with more information about the Great American Smoke Out and how it's working to help cut down on that statistic. So what is the Great American Smoke Out, first of all? It's the third Thursday of November. Okay. And the goal is that if you're thinking about quitting smoking, that this is a time when we want everyone in the United States to quit smoking. Now, does this mean the only day? Of course not. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. a good day, too. Sure. But some people will uh, look at that saying, oh, everyone is going to quit smoking. That's, I'm going to set my sights on that day. Mm -hmm. Important to maybe uh, have this goal, but we know it can be really difficult to quit. Nicotine is, is highly addictive, and some people might start, uh, stop rather, and then have to start the habit again and then try to stop again. So h how can they easily, you know, kind of quit smoking. I don't know that there's an easy way. Yeah. It's a, like you mentioned, it's a highly addictive chemical. Yeah. Uh, but the most important thing that I want to say is that if you quit and you restart, quit again. Mm -hmm. Every time you quit is a success. Mm -hmm. So going back isn't a failure. It's just an opportunity to give that yourself that chance to succeed again. Mm -hmm. Never quit quitting. It will stick one of these times. Yeah, never quit quitting. I like that uh, because, you know, we've all heard about the risks of smoking, but tobacco uh, is still one of the leading causes of death. Is that right? Correct. It definitely contributes to many forms of death that are highly Happen, highly ranked here in the United States mm -hmm. and probably everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways uh, that people can set some, some goals, uh, plans to quit smoking? And that's a really good point. Most people do really well with a plan. So do I want to use nicotine replacement? Some people think, oh, that's cheating or that's not. That is great. Anything that helps you quit, they do think that people do. They do find that people who do use nicotine replacement tend to be mm -hmm. more able to quit. But that doesn't mean that people who quit cold, cold turkey aren't able to quit as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's a kind of a personal decision. We recommend you talk to your doctor or healthcare provider. Okay. Um, at Priority Health, we do have resources available to help you as well as care managers who can also help you work through the process. Mm -hmm. So Priority Health does have those resources to help support you in this journey. Absolutely. Call the number on the back of your card. Okay, uh, and you know, and maybe a benefit, uh, obviously, aside from the health benefits, you're also going to save some money <laughs> when you cut down on the smoking as well. Smoking, <laughs> cigarettes are really expensive. People mm -hmm. say, oh, I buy my own and I roll them on. That's still expensive. And I do want to point out that vaping, we don't know that that's safe either. In fact, we're pretty sure it isn't. We have lots of statistics out there on people who are injured by vaping. So. Um, you may feel like, oh, well, vaping isn't as bad as, as cigarettes. It certainly can be. And we, mm -hmm. we recommend just quit everything and uh, work towards that goal as many times as you need to. Sure. So the Great American Smoke Out, again, happening today. But as you mentioned, Patrice, any day is a good day to quit. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. We'll get all this information on our website.